What's good today, people? This is a retired Pookie. This is my channel. Um, I feel like everybody has a channel. That everybody that has a channel, that the first video, you know, you should tell the people about about yourself, who you are, and things like that. So I'm gonna just tell you right now. Let me say I'm a retired Pookie. Um, I started this channel. Well, I've started a lot of channels, but this channel right here, I started this channel because. I am a retired Pookie. I see all the Pookie hate going on, but I'm a retired one. You know what I'm saying? Like I was, I've been out the game like 20 plus years. You know, a quarter century. I I was in the game, and this is my story. I think what it is is I, right now it's a lot of Pookie um, hate going on, but there's no Pookies out here telling their story on what you know what transpired, what how they become a Pookie. So this is my how I became a Pookie story. Right? Okay. A normal kid like anybody else. You know what I'm saying? Oh, sorry, but you know, I keep my thing. But yeah, normal kid like everybody else. Um, up until second grade. The beginning of my second grade, so I don't know, maybe like six or seven years old, you know what I'm saying? Um, my dad, before that, my dad left because I had a dad, mom, lived with my grandma, was in the house with us. Uh, she even had her man. He wasn't my grandfather. But that was her man. Um, so, you know, like a grandfather figure in the home. Um, siblings, you know. So, so we lived in a house with a garage, a backyard, a garden, the whole nine. You know what I'm saying? And then, uh, you know, I'm a child. So, all I know is one day, daddy moved, never came back. Uh, we, we went from a house to low-income apartments. Um, I... Obviously, at the time, I didn't know what, what happened, but obviously, as an adult now, I see what happened. Uh, choices were made, you know what I mean? Uh, we are familiar with the story of how welfare system came about, you know what I mean? And the options that ladies had, and some took it. Well, <clears throat> my mom was one of the ones that took it. Uh, so, that's the origins of me becoming a pookie. Uh, like I said... Say beginning second grade, I'm on one side of town. That's everything occurred. Bam, I moved to the next side of town. I'm in a low income apartment. All of a sudden, I'm going to a different school. You know the whole nine. Um, so I I wonder is this because somebody's calling me right now. So I, if I'm recording, is this? <laughs> oh man. All right. Anyway, so yeah. So all right. So we on the other side of town. Well, my grandma moved in with us, but the, the guy didn't. Whoever that man was, I'm not whoever. I know who it was. He didn't move in with us. Uh, so it was just my siblings, my mom, and her mama. You know what I'm saying? We in low-income housing. Um, I, don't even, I don't even know what to say about it. It's just that, that that's what it was, low-income housing. So I go to another school. All of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, unbeknownst to me. I'm starting, I, I had my first fight. I never had fought before. I didn't know how to fight. I had my first fight. I won, by the way. <laughs> Not for nothing. I didn't know how to fight, though. I, You know, I'm throwing punches. I know how to fight. I just show up, new kid, you know, the bully of the school fought me. You know what I'm saying? But it's crazy. You know how it is when you kids, y'all fight, and then y'all become friends after that. But me and him really didn't. We fought second grade. We fought third grade. Uh, it was like a battle of the nigga. I ain't backing down. Like he obviously had the rest of these guys shook, and, and not for nothing. As we became adults, oh, yeah, it was still the same way. He had the nigga shook, but he was in prison most of his life anyway. But um, so yeah, second. I think I think me and him fought second, third grade, and then he went to like juvie and shit. I ain't see that nigga again until we was well. That nigga got locked up when we was like nine. And that nigga ain't come out till he was like 19. <laughs> like, I'm dead ass here. I'm, I'm laughing about being serious. Well, um, so, all right. So now I'm in the school. I'm, I, I'm, so now I'm being bad. You see what I'm saying? Second grade, I'm fighting. You know what I'm saying? Third grade, you know, but I always had good grades. This is the crazy thing. I always had good grades. I'm in honors classes, speed classes, anything you know, anybody know about elementary math. Uh, maybe not in your school, but in my school, they had what's called speed math. Like when you start multiplying and dividing and adding all that uh, crap up, uh, and they used to have contests who would go, you know, the fastest 
complete the page or whatever. And I'm telling you, I'm one and two every time. Like, I ain't even know. I'm one and two every time. It's my math, math, my math, <laughs> my mathematical skills are crazy. So, and I, I contributed to that. It was because of the speed classes they were putting us in. But obviously, you had to be, you know, one of the, the, the good ones to, to, to do it, you know, to be good at it. And nonetheless, so bam. All right, so at nine years old, my grandmama died. You see what I'm saying? And I had a grandmama, like, I never seen her in, in pants. You know what I'm saying? She wasn't like no, I didn't like get a Trisha, like she was just no Bible thumper. No, that was her sister. That was my great auntie. Um, but no, my grandma was just that. You know, I never seen her in no pants. She was always cooking and cleaning and took care, take care of us, the kids. You know what I'm saying? She was more like the mom figure to us than my mom at the time. You see what I'm saying? So uh, when she died, oh, man, look, everything changed. I, I, I thought the change from happened when I was seven. No, two years later, when I was nine, that change changed my life. Look, grandma died, my mama, hey, look, you know, you love your mama, you're born to who you're born to, so she had four kids by the time she was 21, and I'm telling you right now, that, that, that should tell you everything you need to know on how her kids were raised, being raised, and what kind of woman she was, she, she had four kids at 21, I mean, come on, man, I'm a grown man, she grown, we, look, we, we can talk about it, right, so ain't nobody perfect, hey, so, bam, so she, you know, four kids or whatever. So, by the time I'm nine, you know what I'm saying, she, she's not 30. <laughs> so, she's still clubbing, you know what I'm saying? She going to the club, party, hanging out. Woo -woo. So, she used to have my older sister's baby sisters, nonetheless, you know what I'm saying? So, now, I'm in the game. I mean, look, my mom will leave the house, leave my older sister in charge, I'm not. My sister's a teenager at this time. You know what I'm saying? My older sister was like a teenager already. So she was having boys and everything. You know what I'm saying? So I'm now, I'm nine years old. I'm in the B&E game. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I, older people having me do this crap. I'm in the B&E game. I'm drinking alcohol. Um, stealing. I'm stealing out of stores now. I, man, go to the, the local gas station, man, hit up the corner stores. Oh, I'm stealing now, man. I, I become a bad kid. I was never this. I wasn't this. My For one, my dad would have, my dad wasn't playing that. And my, my, my dad was in the streets, but obviously he didn't want his sons like that. So, bam. Um, so, now I'm just wilding, man. I, from nine years old till seventh grade. And since I uh, probably was thirteen or whatever, I'm I'm wild. And I'm I'm a bad kid, but yet my grades is good. You said my I'm getting suspended from school. Teacher, like, what is wrong? Like, we don't get it. He his grades are so good, but yet he's so undisciplined. He won't listen. Da da da. da you know what I'm saying? So I get in seventh grade. I go to the corner store, and now now mind you, this is a new corner store because now I'm in a junior high. So I'm going to a different, I'm going to a different school building, a different area of the town, different gas station. I hit up the gas stations every morning. We hitting them up like clockwork. Click, 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 click. We coming to school, everybody. And I'm talking to everybody. I'm talking about black people, white people, the, the hood niggas, the skateboarders, the gothic people, everybody showing their book bags of just junk. They done just stole from the stoves. You know what I'm saying? Uh selling candy bars, donuts, cookies, whatever you had, training, you know, stuff like that. So I get caught still in seventh grade at, at one of the uh, local gas stations. They take me down to the uh, to the jailhouse and shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, mom's gonna get me or whatever. Now, she obviously she she put her hands on me. She with me, but mind you, I'm 13, not for nothing. I'm as tall as my mama now. Is it my mama short? I'm like I'm as tall as her now. So it 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 didn't really affect me like that. You see what I'm saying? Like it didn't you know. I'm 13. I'm looking. I'm almost looking down on you, like what, what, you know, as you you trying to whoop me. You know what I'm saying? I'm grabbing the belt, whatever. So, but what happened was, what that was, that was, it was so embarrassing. Going back to school, and everybody knew that I never stole again. So when I went to the eighth grade, same school, obviously. I'm in the eighth grade. I'm in honors English. I'm in the 
the sciences. I'm in algebra already. You know, I'm being straight laced. Boom. <laughs> Crazy thing happened, man. <clears throat> Colors came out. Some movie, the, the movie Colors, the, the gang banging and all that stuff. I don't know what happened. I, I come from a small city, but I like to call it the biggest city, the smallest, biggest city ever, right? Because uh, so much shit would pop off. But the movie Colors come out now. Everybody in my school, oh, you don't like this person, you don't like that person. It was gangs. It was red, blue. I was like, you know, just boom. I like overnight. The movie popped out. I said, like, boom, you go to school the next day. Everybody claimed. So, uh, so I, we go through that for eighth grade. I'm, I'm not no part of that. I'm just, I was just shocked. Like that's where it happened in my city, eighth grade. 